Hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate about the dynamic crypto map for your multiple branch of ways. This is my one pictures. This picture you can see. Here is the one Arabis, right? This is the head office headquarter. And I have the two branch of over here, R2 and R3. And let's say hypothesism. I don't have the public IP on R3 site and R2 site. I have the only public IP address on R1 site. Okay, and I need to establish the VPN from R2 to R1 and R3 to R1, vice versa. Then what we can what we can do? In the, okay, in this situation, you can use the dynamic crypto map. Dynamic crypto map is a concept allow you to ability to add the multiple branch of is okay branch of is with the central address in ipsec vpn mode ipsec vpn mode okay you can add the multiple client computer um, sorry multiple spokes multiple routers over here okay no need to add the anything on the uh, okay address side only need to add the spoke sites so this type of the VPN can be used for the if your client site doesn't have the public IP address only private IP address is there in the client site or you can see say you are using the PAT internet okay PAT internet on client site and even you want to create the establish the VPN with the head office then this VPN is useful for you so how to do this is my demonstrations lab okay today is my topic is dynamic crypto map head office and two branch office first of all let me assign the ip address on the all the devices okay so let me open notepad and let's open notepad and let's Assign the IP address config T for R1 interface is last zero. No shutdown IP address 192.14.1 and then for lane address IP address 192.16.1.1 and for default gateway. to are the internet out or service providers this is for R1 and for R2 side what I can do R2 side 24.1 and 2.1 24.2 this is for R2 and for R3 what to do 34.1 and 3.1 and 34.2 for R3. And now last is the let's set up the service provider routers. Three 
is traced from R1. Thirty-four dot one for R three. Thirty-four dot one. Okay, fine. Now we have successfully assigned the IP address on the all the devices. It's R one, R two, and R three. Now time for the. It is time for the configuring VPN, guys. IP check VPN, the dynamic crypto map. The configuration site is same as yesterday. It does not differences from yesterday. You need to create the phase one tunnel, phase one tunnel, phase two tunnel. Same. Interesting traffic matching. Same. And crypto map same, but uh, some of the keyboard you have to add on the R two R one and R two and R three side. That is, uh, I will discuss. Hmm. So, configuration is ready here. This SQ configuration, crypto ICK policy ten encryption three days hashing MD five authentication three say group two, and. Yesterday we did the crypto ICK key Cisco one two three address individual address. There was an individual address. Today is a common address. Okay, for all whoever wants to establish the hmm, wants to establish the phase one tunnel, then we can accept the those guy with the key Cisco one two three. Okay, if they come the key Cisco one two three, and this is a phase two, and this interesting traffic matching. This is my server side lane network, and this is my spoke side, or you can say branch side. The first one is off side, or headquarter side, and branch side. And here, crypto dynamic, you have to give the this command: crypto dynamic map. Yesterday we did the static mapping. This is the dynamic map. Dynamic map, VPN dynamics is sequence number ten. So it transforms it CCIE because it's a phase two tunnel. And interesting traffic and reverse route. Okay, reverse route is one of the concept to bring down. Okay, you are back into the network into the routing tables. So reverse route you have to apply and one this command. This is a dynamic. Apply. Copy it on headquarter side. Simple. And paste on R1 side. You can manually type this one. No problem. But I am copying and pasting for the reducing the time or saving time your time. Okay. Hmm. I say cam is on now. No problem. Spoke side or branch side, everything is same. But branch individually point to the head office and a transform set. You can give the any name. It's a local significant name, and this is a matching with the what two dot zero from. R2 and this R3. You have to mention the both side of the lane networks. And same crypto map VPN. So name of the map VPN is a 10 IPsec map. Everything is same. This is a branch side. So no differences. Okay, only one command. Reverse route is the differences. All other is the remaining same same as yesterday. Let's go on R2. R2 and it will be same on the R R3 side also no problem. R3. Hmm? Two and three is okay. Let's check so crypto. I check I'm sir. There is no phase one tunnel up. No phase two matching. Let's ping from R2. Thing one nine dot one sixty eight dot one dot one source loop back zero or source one nine dot one sixty eight dot two dot one. So pinging is going from R two from R three. Let's go to R three. Source. My local source through that one. Let's go. 
okay so crypto ip6 sar hmm. you can check the nine packet has been successfully encrypted and decrypted phase bundle is up hmm. let's check an r1 so ip root Hmm. This is static route came in the our routing global routing table due to the reverse route command. Hmm. Reverse route command. This command. This command bring down the okay route in the global routing table. So crypto Isaac M S R. Hmm. There is a uh, VPN with the two branch office. You can check here. Fourteen dot one is my local IP address, and for thirty four dot one, and twenty four dot one is the remote IP address. Branch one and branch two IP address. So crypto IPsec sha. Hmm. It's encrypted. You can see. You can check. Here also nine 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 packet. So crypto IPsec sha is a phase one. Fine. So here, what we can see here over here, what is the advantage over here? The greater advantage over here is hub, or you can say the head headquarters routers, head office routers. Just did he did the zero dot zero dot zero dot zero zero dot zero for key exchange. That means anyone, any router can negotiate the phase one for phase one tunnel, IKE phase one tunnel with the this hub, right? This hub. That means it doesn't matter. It has the public IP address or private IP. Address. It doesn't matter. It does. It doesn't matter. It has the public or private IP. Address. It doesn't matter. Okay. Hmm. They can. I mean R two and R three can negotiate and can create the phase one tunnels. It doesn't matter. You can add the one more branch office, branch three, okay, and just you can uh, copy and paste the same command. What whatever you use in R two, you can use in R three, and you have to add the one line of the ACL over here on R one, okay, and then this will come on R four. Right? If there is any doubt, you can ask me. No problem. This is one of the great VPN. Can be used for the multiple branch office. Here, head office no need to add the any line on the phase one or phase two or any mapping. It automatically create the mapping for the all the branch office. And and whenever you add the brand of branch office branch routers and you want to establish with the head office, then you have to write down write the all the parameters of phase one phase two. And you have to point the key key matching for the key matching with the head office.